EastEnders airs tear-jerking final scenes for iconic couple in early BBC iPlayer release. EastEnders has aired emotional final scenes between Ben Mitchell and Callum Highway aka Balum in its early BBC iPlayer release on Thursday. The BBC One soap has aired an abrupt exit storyline for Ben after it was confirmed late last year that actor Max Bowden would be written out of the role this spring. Earlier this week, Ben was arrested during husband Callum Highway's birthday party for fraud, later revealed to be credit card fraud committed when he left for the US last year in a misguided attempt to find a miracle cure for Lola Pierce Brown. Ultimately, Ben was absent during Lola's final hours and returned to tragic scenes and anger from his loved ones for his absence, hoping for bail, Ben and his father Phil Mitchell plotted for the former to flee the country with Lexi Pierce but he was denied bail. Callum was also angry to learn that Ben lied to him about being innocent of the crime he was accused of and took some persuading from Phil to see Ben, when Phil's plotting was discovered by Ben's mum Kathy Cotton, Gillian Tailforth, and Lola's grandfather Billy Mitchell about the plot. Lexi's stepfather Jay Brown, Jamie Borthwick, was furious at the plan and also blamed Phil for only putting his blood relatives first. However, Phil was apologetic to Jay and regretted his actions. In the end, Callum managed to pull strings and paid a visit to Ben in his cell and admonished him for his actions over the past year and beyond, with everything in their relationship being centric to Ben and leaving Callum feeling like a passenger. Callum encouraged Ben to plead guilty, not fight the charges, and then be able to get a shorter sentence and return home to him and Lexi sooner, reminding Ben that Lexi will have her family and two dads Callum and Jay to take care of her. Ben ended up agreeing but decided to end their marriage and encouraged Callum to be free and pursue fresh love with other guys in London. Praising Callum for becoming his authentic self, Ben said he never expected to love so strongly again since losing his boyfriend Paul Coker but that Callum is the best thing that ever happened in his life day and upset Callum then walked away after Ben sat down and said it was over. However, Callum soon marched back and refused to lose Ben and said he would stand by him and never leave him. Callum refuses to move on with any other guy and let Ben push another person he loves away, maintaining he will be at home waiting for Ben when he gets out of prison. Callum reaffirms his love for Ben, touchingly also through British Sign Language which he learned when Ben was suffering from hearing loss, and Ben tells Callum Highway Mitchell that he loves him too as they transfer kisses to each other's lips via their fingers. As Callum leaves, the episode ends with Ben Mitchell crying in his cell in actor Max Bowden's final scenes in the role, having taken over as the sixth actor to play the role in 2019 not writing on Instagram ahead of his final scenes being broadcast, Bowden penned, well guys it's that time. It's been one hell of a ride. Thanks for taking Ben to your hearts and allowing my version into your lives. I had an amazing five years at Seastenders and learn a hell of a lot about myself and the craft I love so dearly. It got me through some very hard personal times and I will be forever grateful. I really will never be able to thank everybody for the support enough, because the fans of the show are so passionate, caring, and invested and it enables us as actors to want to keep going and always be better. So I really do from the bottom of my heart appreciate every single person who has sent any sort of positivity my way over the last five years. I love you all. He concluded, Ben Mitchell 6.0, Ticked box emoji, heart emoji, over and out, salute emoji, heart emoji. Goodbye. E. I'll miss you all. X. EastEnders spoilers tonight, how Ben Mitchell leaves as his final exit scenes play out. EastEnders spoilers for tonight reveal Ben Mitchell's last scenes in Walford. It's set to be an emotional episode as Max Bowden bows out, but will Ben leave in a prison van or by going on the run? Also, Denzel is determined to get his parcel back from Yolanda, but will she forgive him after his outburst? And, it's Lauren's 30th birthday, but will she expose Whitney's lies? Ben's exit in EastEnders spoilers After Phil was stopped in his plan to help Ben and Lexi flee the country, Richie broke the news to Callum and Jay that Ben had been denied bail. Turned out the authorities guessed quite rightly that he was a flight risk, with those waiting at home sure he would get bail, how will they cope with the news that's not going to happen? As the Mitchells deal with the fallout of Ben's arrest, Callum uses his profession to his advantage and gets in to see his husband. Ben is adamant he's pleading not guilty, but will Callum help him get free? Or will Ben change his mind and take his punishment? One way or another, Balum fans will be heartbroken as their love story will come to an end that Denzel's behavior worsens. Last night Denzel yelled at Yolanda and called her an awful name. Although they seemed to sort things out, Yolanda still kept hold of Denzel's package. 
Tonight, Denzel opens up to Nugget at the boys' bury the hatchet. But Denzel is not entirely honest about what happened with Yolanda. When Nugget goes to speak to Yolanda on Denzel's behalf it seems to be going well. But then Kat catches Denzel sneaking in and trying to steal his parcel from Yolanda's bag. Will Yolanda finally find out what's really in it, and why it's so important to Denzel to get back Lauren confronts Whitney in EastEnders spoilers. Reeling from Whitney's confession she paid Brittany's mum to take her off her hands, Lauren confronts her friend. She insists she has to tell Zach the truth. Their argument is interrupted by Peter and his date, on the way to the Albert for Lauren's 30th birthday party. Lauren later has a conversation with Chelsea about Whitney and it makes Lauren think maybe she's been too harsh. She approaches Wit again who promises she will tell Zach everything, Avani messes with Priya and Martin. As Martin and Priya continue to enjoy their date, Avani has other ideas. She spoils the evening by pouring wine into Martin's lap. But will she confess why she's really so bothered about him and her mum dating? EastEnders reveals Whitney Dean's huge secret. EastEnders has revealed that Whitney Dean has been lying about fostering Brittany Wainwright. Whitney recently arrived back in Walford following her eventful trip to Milton Keynes, where she became determined to foster the Brittany away from her neglectful mother. While Whitney has been introducing Brittany as her foster daughter, it was revealed in Wednesday's episode that she is not legally fostering the child, related, EastEnders gift guide, all the best books and merchandise for fans of the soap. Zach has struggled to accept that Whitney wants to raise the young girl, thus putting a strain on their relationship. The soap shed new light on Britney's plight in the latest installment, revealing she may be harboring hidden trauma as Whitney discovered she'd wet the bed. The two went off on a shopping trip, but returned home to find Zach questioning why Britney had been hiding food underneath her bed. Zach's harsh stance towards the child softened as she explained how scarce food was for her back home, admitting that she's not used to depending on others to help her. It finally looked as if Zach and Brittany were making progress when he offered to take her to a Walford East cooking class. However, Lauren Branning made a shocking discovery when she happened to overhear Whitney on the phone discussing Brittany's fostering agreement. Whitney finally revealed the truth when Lauren threatened to tell Zach about her mysterious phone calls. We ain't fostering Brittany at all, not legally anyway, Whitney confessed. I paid her mom to take her off her don't know. You can't say anything either. Will Lauren reveal this shocking secret? Please subscribe our channel.